to today's video. Today's video is going to be the mummy tag. The, the weather's not looking so great outside, so the light lighting's probably not really good. So I thought, while Scarlett's watching telly, I might as well crack on and film another video for this week. Um, I've got a cup a cup of coffee as well, so I hope you don't mind if I drink that because it's not every day I get to sit and have a warm cup of coffee. And I thought it's going to be a bit of a chatty video, so why not get a cuppa and sit and talk to you. So like I said, today's video is going to be the mummy tag. Um, I've got all the questions written down, which I should have really got out before. <laughs> right, yeah, I've got all the questions written down. Um, I will link these in the description box if you would like to have a go. Um, if, so if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe because it will mean the world to me to actually get a subscriber. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. So the first question is, are you a stay-at-home mum or a working mum? Um, I work part-time. Um, I work 20 hours a week. So I'm sort of like a bit of both, really. I'm a bit of a working mum because I don't work, like, I don't work full-time. And a bit of a stay-at-home mum. Um, the next one is, would you have it any other way? I love, I love my job and the people that I work with. But I would say I would love to be a stay-at-home mum because I, I would would love to spend all my t all my day with Scarlett and picking her up from preschool, taking her to preschool and you know, make sure the house is tidy and I love doing that sort of stuff but obviously I like, I do like going to work but I would love more to stay at home. The next one, do you co-sleep? No, Scarlett has her own bed in her own room which the majority of the time that she will sleep in all night. If she's ill, like she currently is now, um, I will put her in my my room with me, just because I don't want it to, you know, if she's sick or if she's got like a coughing fit or whatever, I want to be there for her straight away, whether give her no drink or if she's sick to make sure I'm like to help her. But it's only the education when she's ill. It's just my peace of mind, really, to be honest, because then I can keep an eye on her and I know she's safe. Um. What is your one must have item for your baby? I would say a, a video monitor. Like, Scarlett's nearly three and I still use a video monitor. Um, I don't know which one it is, it's called, but I use the Motorola, Motorola one. Um, I would say that is definitely a must have because it's definitely for peace of mind. Like, I know I can wake, I can wake up in the middle of the night and just look to the monitor and make sure like there's nothing like wrong with Scarlett. Um, she's got a thing where she likes to have her blanket by her face and I remember when she was newborn or younger she kept putting the blanket over her face like over her, ma her nose and her mouth so I had to keep obviously m moving that blanket away and making sure it wasn't so the video monitor really come in handy for when to, to, so to make sure that it's not over her face and nothing's obstructing her breathing or whatsoever so I always say get a video monitor and I would probably still use it until Scarlett is probably five or six. Um, it's just for my peace of mind really. Her dad says I don't need to use it but I will continue to use it because mum knows best. <laughs> um, I also use it as well. If, it, at, if, Scar if it's not Scarlett's bedtime but she's just in her room watching telly um, and I'm, if I want to quickly nip for a shower I put the monitor on so that I can sort of keep, because it views all her bedroom, I can sort of just keep an eye on her whilst in the shower so that if, so she, basically so she doesn't come to any harm. There's nothing in her room that could, she, that could harm her, but it's also to make sure she doesn't do anything naughty. Like at the minute she's got a thing of peeling her wallpaper off and getting her crayons out and drawing on the walls or drawing on herself. So, um, next one. How many kids do you plan on having? Um, well, I only really plan on having two. I would quite like a boy and a girl, but if I end up with two girls, then I don't mind. Um, obviously, I can't really see what the future holds. Obviously, in the next year or two, I would like to have another child. Um, but, but I don't know if we're going to go on to have maybe three or more. Probably definitely two, though. <laughs> date night, how many per... Date night, how many per month? I, we don't have date nights. Uh, your child's favourite TV show. At the minute, um, it's definitely going to have to be Post and Pat, Fine with Sam, um, definitely Paw Patrol. We watch that every morning because in the morning for school she wakes up at 7. And so while I quickly like 
put my face on and get myself dressed. I let her watch her programs and it just gives it that time to wake up before it's like getting into breakfast and everything like that. So she just like watching Paw Patrol. I've made little notes here of um little things that like that I need to remember and mention in the video. Um, another one is that on Netflix there's um like a series I think it's called Spirit and it's just about horses and obviously because Scarlett's aunties have a horse so she likes to go and see that so she's really into horses as well so she's rode the horse and um, obviously with with, it, with attendance so like, we've been holding her on it and with the safety like helmet and everything so she likes obviously likes horses so she likes that um so i'll get my drink one of you <laughs> Um, name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up with them. And that was definitely, I know Angel Care do a sound and movement map monitor thing. And I bought that and I never used it. But just for the fact that, because when Scarlett was so young, I lived with my mum and dad. So for the first, obviously, six months, she was in like the room with me. And then luckily, I was fortunate enough that she could have her own mum and dad's house. But she never really... You know, when it got to the point of her being in her own bed, like own car, she was six months old. So I weren't, even though I still checked on her, but I still had the my Motorola monitor as well. So even though I still checked on her throughout the night, I wasn't so paranoid about her like stopping breathing or anything like that. Especially with cot death and sudden infant death syndrome, I know that's maybe a lot earlier. But I, I do still check on her now, like I will get out of bed sometimes to check on her, but the times I just look at the monitor, but I don't think I used the Angel Sounds, I put it down, Angel Care Sound and Movement Monitor, I didn't use that, I think, I think, I can't really think the Scarlet was like two, but, sorry I need a drink, it's really hot in my flat, so, it's obviously I need a drink because I'm talking, obviously I need a drink. Um, name one thing you've bought your, no, we just done that one, silly Jodie. Um, your child's favourite food. She likes, I always call her any home cooked food. Um, she does sometimes on occasion eat like a chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets and chips, but if you put a plate of home cooked food in front of her, whether it's spaghetti bolognese or a curry or shepherd's pie or anything like that, she will eat it. She will eat more of it because obviously she enjoys the taste of it. Um, but sometimes, I, I always call it freezer fairy, so she'll uh, sometimes have a freezer fairy, um, you know, on days if I've got to work late, or if we've got to nip out or do something quick, she'll have a freezer fairy, but any home-cooked food is definitely her favourite. Question number 10. Get through these. How many cars does your family have? None of us drive. Um... Question 11. Weight gain before pregnancy, during and after and now. Right. I put this down because I tried to remember what I weighed at what point. So before I was pregnant, I don't, I did, I was just, I, I did put on a bit when I met my partner. But before, in, from meeting my partner as being pregnant, I didn't really put, put on much, I would say. Um, after I gave birth to Scarlett, I lost a stone and a half. And now... I've lost another five stone on top of that. If you want to see any of my um, any videos about weight loss or anything like that, my weight loss journey, I could do that for you. Just comment. Um, I can insert pictures of like before and after and tell you how I lost the weight. Yeah, so I lost five stone on top of that, and I'm still currently trying to lose more. Obviously, I want you know once you've lost a certain amount, you it gets harder to lose more. So I'm trying to. If you want to see, uh, well, if you want to see any like what I eat in a week video, toddler and mother meals in a week, I will do that as well. Just let me know if you like these. Um, dream holiday with your kids. I always want to take Scarlett to Disneyland, but I want to go at an age where she's old enough to at least remember some of it. I went with my mum and dad and my uncle when I was four I think and I can remember some bits of it and I can remember like which characters I didn't like and I've still got the little autograph book 
that my mum and dad got me from when when we went and I can always remember bits of the holiday and but I think my mum video recorded it as well so watching that back you know sort of brings flashbacks of actually doing the things that were there and so I definitely want to go when Scarlet's maybe four or five um I keep forgetting my own. dream holiday without your kids um See, I wouldn't like to go on, I'm, I'm the type of person, I wouldn't like to go on holiday without them. If I, if I did, I'd only want to go for like a weekend away and it, it's got to be in the UK somewhere. Because I don't feel comfortable, um, if I was to go abroad, say, and leave Scarlett here in the UK, like with, with whoever's looking after her, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Because at least then I know if, if I'm in the UK... Even if I'm away from that on a weekend break or whatever, if something was ever to happen, you can get home. Whether it's t train or whatever, if, if you're abroad in a different country, you're a bit more vulnerable, I think, to uh, that more things happening. You know, if something, if something goes wrong, you can't get home. You're a bit stranded, whereas if you're in the UK, you can get home. So just for my peace of mind, really, that I know I can be there if, you, if I need to be. Um... How has your life changed? How has your life changed since having a baby? Definitely for the better. I can't imagine my life without Scarlett. She literally is my life. Um, everything I do, I do it for her. Um, I'm definitely a lot more mature, like my attitude and how I manage things. I was quite good anyway, but I'm definitely more mature, mature now. And I manage many so much better um literally when i was younger before i had scarlet literally i would spend money as soon as i get it spend it and now i budget things and save up for things that i know i want to do for example scarlet's birthday um because it's six weeks before christmas i know you need to work a part-time wage i save up for it um literally as one birthday finishes i save up for the next just so i know if whatever she wants to do or whatever she wants as a gift she can have it because I don't I'm one of these mums and I, I don't really like to say no to her um obviously some things I will say no but um I don't like to say no if she says I'll kind of say have a party for my birthday I will say oh, yes you can and I'll just give her the best party ever um if you want any more video, any videos on like party planning or my tips for party planning then comment again and I will do it for you um finish the sentence it makes my heart melt when i definitely say when scarlet says i love you mom i love you give me a hug that no matter if she's been naughty or what if you've had a stressful day at work and you come home and then scarlet says mom how was your day i love you mom give me a hug that is the best feeling in the world and that makes all the stress of my life melt away and it just makes me happy because she makes me happy um, where do you shop for your kids? Um, well, I shop anywhere really, but the main shop I go to is Primark. It's because I've worked there, so I do see all the new stuff that come in, and it is really, really tempting to buy stuff when you work there. I don't just buy things on every month. I probably buy things every single week, just because I see everything. Um, but I, I have. She has got a few bits on Matalan and Tesco's and stuff, but Primark is definitely the one. And I find because she's at preschool as well. She doesn't get a chance, because I put her in uniform, she doesn't get a chance to wear the clothes as much as I would I would like her to wear them. Um, and the stuff that she does wear for preschool or pack in a bag, it's like just leggings and a t-shirt. So things that I won't, don't matter if she wrecks them, because there's nothing worse than putting them in a really nice outfit and coming home and just paint all over them or whatever. So, um, next one. Favourite makeup and skincare product? I really should have got this out before I, um, so I could show you before I started recording. Um, I'm not really into skincare. I haven't yet found one that is a favourite one. There's a couple I want to try. Um, I think Laura, is it not Laura? Um, Superdrug do a vitamin E skincare range, and I do want to try that at some point. But my favourite foundation, I've written it down so I know. It's got to be the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. That is literally a godsend to me. No matter how tired you are 
or how rough you look putting some of that make that foundation on oh, makes you feel so much better and it ri literally just lasts all day because there's some days where i can't do my makeup until like literally do my makeup for seven o'clock in the morning and it has it has to last me till seven o'clock at night you know but it does last and i love it and i would definitely recommend it i buy it probably every month i've bought a couple um different foundations to try but nothing compares to that l'oreal infallible i want to try more things in that range as well to see um, next up, number 18, we're getting through this aren't we, <laughs> it says Huggies on Pampers, well to stop when Scarlett was a newborn I used Pampers with her because I wanted to make sure, of being a first time mum I wanted to make sure that the I used the best nappies but as she got older um, I went on to Asda's Little Angels, they were just as good um, they, you know, they did the job, and I don't. Sometimes I don't see the point in spending money on things that literally just go in the bin. Um, obviously, when she's newborn and they've got definitely sensitive skin, obviously I would spend the extra. But to, but well, when she was, I think when she was like six months old, I changed them then to, um, as those little angels, and I would recommend them. Um, I still obviously as baby wipe wise, I still use sensitive baby wipes i would always use sensitive baby wipes on her just because i don't want to risk it and use like insensitive ones for her to get a nappy rash or anything like that well she's not in nappies now but um before i didn't want her to get nappy rash or anything like that so i always use sensitive have you always wanted kids yeah i've always wanted kids i knew from a young age that i wanted to be a youngish mum my mum had me when she was 21 and so there's a what, 21 age, year age gap between um, my mum and me and so I always wanted to have the same sort of age gap between me and my kids and now but what between me and Scarlett there's a 20 year age gap and I don't I, I wouldn't have it any other way because that way I'm sort of growing up as she's growing up and I can I always had a decision of being a, like a cool well I wouldn't say cool but be a cool young like mum and sort of so you know, so more see as so she can see me more as a friend than a mum, even though obviously she sees me as a mum. But you know, so it's just nice, really, isn't it, to have a young age gap, really? Uh, what about have a short age? Yeah. So, so uh, don't know what I'm trying to say. So instead of say, not there's nothing wrong with having kids when you're older, but I find when you're younger, it uh, for me it's just better because then you can get grow up as your child grows up as such and you learn new things together okay. move on to the next question before i generally talk rubbish <laughs> best part of being a mum everything <laughs> i cannot choose a single thing i love everything from the bad moments like the tantrums the sleepless nights i love the school rooms the early mornings all the kids programs <laughs> you know i love it all the, like, i would say like dirty nappies because anything to do with Scarlett I love I don't I like her parents evenings anything not necessarily the good bits but I love the bad bits as well because it's me teaching her and me showing her the right way in life and even though she's three she doesn't get get she doesn't know everything obviously but her even using her manners to know that I've taught her her manners and how to be a polite young girl like young child makes literally makes my heart melt and this is the best feeling in the world knowing you're doing something right and especially if um, other people comment on how polite your child is and how well behaved they are it makes you feel like you're doing something right even if you don't really know what you're doing <laughs> um, I think that's it really I think that's all the questions I did 20 and all um, I will write these questions in the description box if you want to have a go yourself I would love to see it and if you want to message me or comment any video ideas that you'd like to see or even subscribe to me because i would be, i always check to see how many views i've got how many if i've got any subscribers because i want to if i get a subscriber i went well yeah if i get subscribers i want to personally message them and say thank you because there's nothing more in the world than knowing that people like what you're doing <laughs> and so yeah i'm trying to think what else i'm trying to say um 
think that's it for today. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!